Hello, future artists and designers. I'm Mark Towner and welcome to Endicott College. I'm excited you joined us today to learn more about the arts at our wonderful institution. As Dean of Visual and Performing Arts, I oversee programs in art, design, photography, and the performing arts. Along with my colleagues, we are more than 50 professional staff and faculty providing career-based creative experiences to more than 300 students majoring in the arts. This size and our variety of programs make us really comparable to a standalone art school or art institute, except we have the added benefits of the world-renowned internship program, the attractive grounds and beaches, the extracurricular clubs, and athletics. During this half hour, you'll be watching a brief PowerPoint that I've assembled. You will be hearing directly from our department heads and some of their finest students. And you will also be having a, experiencing a virtual video tour of the facility. Our program will conclude with a question and answers, but I do want to encourage you that throughout the program to send chat questions using the, the function here in Zoom. And throughout the program, our department heads and our students will be answer, answering some of those. So I'm going to start my PowerPoint. First, a word of congratulations. You have been accepted into one of the top 20 best, related, uh, best rated colleges for aspiring artists and designers. What other college can claim this and boast a picturesque 235 acre oceanfront campus with state-of-the-art facilities? Not many. And what incredible numbers. This is the largest number of applications to Endicott ever on record. Our campus is located 22 miles north of Boston on the ocean. It's an integral part of campus um, milieu. The Manon Center for the Arts is the crown jewel of the campus, consisting of three galleries, two theaters, dozens of studios, and multiple student lounge areas. Shortly, you will see more about life in the center. There are about 300 students earning their professional degrees. This is approximately 10% of the undergraduate student population. And about 450 non-art and design majors take our classes annually. Our programs include architectural studies, art therapy, graphic design, interior architecture, photography, and studio art. We also offer minors in art history, arts administration, ceramics, creative arts therapy, dance, graphic design, music, photography, studio art, and theater. All colleges and, and universities in New England must be accredited by Nietzsche to ensure students receive the basics of a meaningful education. The CETA accreditation is for interior design and is truly exclusive. In New England, there are only four programs with this credential and Endicott is one of those four. And finally, NASAD is the benchmark for colleges providing professional degrees in art, design, and photography. One of the recent NASAD representatives that visited our school had these comments. You have a fantastic program and it is in very good shape. It is a terrific facility, one which would be the envy of many art schools. The internship requirements are a model program. The newest degree program complements our interior architecture curriculum, providing additional professions such as architecture, civil engineering, and landscape architecture. A majority of our students will study abroad at least once during their four years at college. This is a unique program, just one of a few in the nation offering the BFA degree. And this includes a combination of art therapy, studio, psychology, and art history courses. Rated the top graphic design program in Massachusetts based upon alumni employment rates and salaries. The state of the art facilities are complemented with field trips to professional studios and campus workshops and master classes. 
Within the industries in higher education, interior architecture and interior design are synonymous. Both are credentialed by CETA. Students will always learn the latest technologies while developing and maintaining their hand rendering skills and presentation skills. There are three tracks for this degree, the fifth year for undergrad Endicott students, the pre-professional track for those looking to change careers, and the post-professional track for those looking to enhance their professions. With nearly identical photography curricula, the BFA contextualizes the program in a fine arts sense and the BS contextualizes the program in business and marketing. The foundation for all of the programs, the studio arts provide the technical skills, historical context and inspiration for professional careers in the arts. Similar to other colleges, Endicott does have an option for students to design their own major. This is extremely popular for those waiting, uh, wanting to integrate dance, music, and theater with their other fields of interest. Student life and culture in the center and across campus is active and vibrant. Here, an art student is integrating dance and movement into her painting. This work of art was created on the concrete barrier on the shore right, apart of camp, right part of campus. We do maintain a very active uh, arts environment for our students, the campus, and the North Shore community. Exhibitions are an integral strategy for firsthand experiences. Music, theater, dance, and musical theater productions are frequent and always free to Endicott students. The center lounges are very inviting to artists, designers, and non-artists alike. Ceramics is one of the most popular programs in the center. Annually, one of our most uh, fun events is the Fall Art on the Beach a festive multidisciplinary day of fun and creativity. And these two students are both exceptional painters and exceptional dancers. An international experience is highly valued for those in the creative fields. Although there are dozens of options for Endicott students, these five sister programs offer very high-end coursework in our fields of study delivered in English and recognized by American accrediting agencies, these programs for the most part cost less than a semester on campus. And this includes room, board, and tuition. In addition to the international programs, we also have a close affiliation with New York Film Academy, where our students can study photography, graphic design, and uh, music theater all in Lower Manhattan. And the New York Film Academy does arrange for the much coveted housing in New York City. As our accrediting partner had said, our facilities are the envy of many a college. But here I need to emphasize that no matter where you decide to go to college, you should wait to purchase your computer, your camera, and your art supplies until you know which institution you're gonna be, be attending. Each college will have different requirements and we wanna make sure you start off with the right equipment. I came to Endicott College 20 years ago because I knew the value of experiential learning and felt my firsthand experience in museum, gallery and conservation management would be of benefit to our students. And of the four, of the four colleges and universities I've worked at, Endicott is by far the best at what it does, integrating professional and liberal arts with experiential learning. The bottom line is our alumni get meaningful jobs related to their majors like no other institution.
This is just a short list of where our alumni are working. And this again is a short list of where some of our students went on to further their studies at the graduate level. Now, my last couple of slides, uh, I'm gonna suggest that you do a screenshot or um, a photo from your phone. Um, this particular slide will allow you to um, ask questions of the particular presentation uh, presenters uh, today. And if you wanna connect up with the student with some questions that she might've answered, um, the chair can also uh, connect you with them. We hope that you uh, like us and that you find us and take a screenshot of this one so that you can um, follow us more closely. That concludes my PowerPoint. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, start talking uh, with live presentations with our uh, faculty and students. And although each one will do a, a, a self introduction, I will just start by saying that uh, Associate Dean Kevin Renz will start the program. Um, welcome. Uh, thank you, Dean Towner. Um, my name is uh, Kevin Renz, I'm the Associate Dean of Architectural Studies and Design. Um, I oversee the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Architectural Studies, the Bachelor of Fine Arts in Interior Architecture, the, the fifth year interior architecture degree, as well as the first and post-professional Master of Architecture degrees. Um, our uh, pre-professional Bachelor of Fine Arts in Architectural Studies uh, provides an interdisciplinary design education with a focus on architecture. Our curriculum includes um, studio work in landscape architecture, urban design, and the building sciences. Um, the uh, landscape architecture uh, component as well provides our students an opportunity to broaden their uh, interest beyond architecture uh, for future coursework um, and graduate education. Uh, graduates of our program um, pursue, uh, can pursue graduate degrees uh, in landscape architecture, architecture in the building sciences. Um, our CEDAR accredited, our Council for Interior Design Accreditation Bachelor of Fine Arts and Interior Architecture program uh, includes design studios in retail, residential, healthcare, educational, and um, institutional interior environments. Um, our students seek uh, in, find employment in uh, a lot of the national and international uh, architectural firms, but also some also find uh, uh, job opportunities and careers in residential design. I'd like to introduce one of our uh, leading interior architectural juniors in our program. Emily. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Emily O'Donnell. I am currently a junior um, at Endicott studying interior architecture. Um, the program is something that I really can't compare to anything else. When looking for college and looking for school, um, the program really stood out to me just because of the diversity of what we learn um, between how we learn about the different types of design, uh, retail design, commercial design, um, hospitality, um, healthcare design, all of that, um, down to how we learn everything from kind of the design portion of the job all the way through the architectural portion, learning how to draft and everything like that. Um, I feel like I couldn't find that at any other school and that's what really made me love this program. Um, recently, I got to study abroad in Florence, Italy, and we got to really embrace and learn about the culture. Um, we got to really see all of that architecture firsthand that we've been learning about since freshman year, um, and it was an amazing experience. While I was abroad, I definitely missed being on campus and being at Endicott. Um, again, it's just Endicott is such an amazing um, campus and community and the school, um, the classes are something unlike anything else. I also really missed, um, I work in the admissions office while I am on campus. I get to tour students around um, before they're accepted to the school um, and I get to answer questions um, during their application process and then also after and it's absolutely one of my favorite parts of school as well. 
Um, the next person that you'll be hearing from is the graduate director of the Interior Architecture Program. Hello, uh, welcome everyone. I'm Myung Ju, uh, Director of Graduate Interior Architecture. Uh, Endicott Interior Architecture has fifth year program option. Uh, so students can continue one more year and graduate with Master of Arts degree. So Master of, Art, uh, Master of Art degree in Interior Architecture can give the advanced qualification as a professional interior designer. Design firms like uh, established architecture firms recognize the value of advanced degree because they make great efforts on research-based practice. In addition, a master's degree can give academic career option of teaching in college and uh, universities. Uh, so NDCO students can apply fifth year program in their junior year and Endico College offers alumni scholarship for the fifth year program students. So you see the uh, last year uh, thesis exhibition at our building in my back. I don't know, my, maybe my square is so tiny, uh, but uh, uh, now I'd like to introduce uh, current fifth year students, uh, Sarah Noves. Thank you, Professor Chen. Um, hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm a fifth year student in the master's program getting my interior architecture degree. Um, I chose to take this approach and further my studies because um, the industry is growing so quickly, so it's nice to have that extra leg up when you start applying for jobs. And it also gives you the opportunity to teach, as Youngju said. Um, I found that through tutoring and being a teacher's assistant that that's something that I'm really interested in. So this semester I've um, taken an undergrad media class um, as a teacher, and that's been a really fun experience. Um, Endicott's also really great at helping you with connections and getting your foot in the door through internships. Um, I did my three different internships in different types of design. Um, so that includes commercial, healthcare, and high-end residential. Um, the high-end residential I did in New York City, and that was my semester long, and that was with um, Sean Henderson, Interior Design. And that was really exciting because he's been a design inspiration for me for a while. So having that opportunity to spend that much time in um, his sort of space was really great. I also got to um, get to know Boston designers through the IIDA Student Mentorship Program. And that was set up from professors from Endicott who helped me get involved. Um, I basically try to get involved as much as my schedule allows me to. Um, so I basically live in the VPAC, the 3D print lab, the backstage for performing arts, um, and my minor in studio art. And that was something that was really important for me to include because um, I thought it really complemented interior design well, and I've loved it for as long as I can remember. Um, and all of the professors were really helpful in getting me options that would fit in my schedule with both studio art and interior design. So for one of those professors that was really helpful, I'll pass it to Professor Pelletier. Hi, my name is Carol Pelletier. I'm the chair of the Fine Arts Department, which houses art therapy and studio art. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about art therapy first. Um, art therapy is a pre-professional program. We prepare students to, for entry into some of the best graduate programs in art therapy in the country. Um, many of our art therapy students are practicing art therapists today. Um, our program, as the dean said, is um, a combination of psychology classes, studio art classes and art therapy classes. And you will hear uh, from two of our art therapy students, seniors, uh, Danny Mann and Emily De La Rocha. Yeah, hi, um, I'm Danny Mann, again, senior art therapy major. Um, I recently committed to Pratt Institute in New York City where I'll be pursuing my master's of art therapy and creative development. Um, during my time at Endicott, I also got the opportunity to study abroad in Florence and participate in various extracurriculars pertaining to music and art. Um, so I'm here to talk a little bit about the internships. 
um, at Endicott, you'll be completing three internships, uh, the last one being during your senior year and for the entire semester. So most art therapy majors do their internships at hospitals, schools, private practices, um, and I did mine at a nonprofit organization called Express Yourself, which is located here in Beverly. Express Yourself works with at-risk youth in the greater Boston area. We visit day schools, locked pediatric psychiatric units, um, and we have various populations of youth come into our studio to crea create art with us. Uh, we work on large scale collaborative art pieces that are eventually compiled into a theatrical performance that's typically put on in May um, at the City Wang Theater. Getting to work at Express Yourself my senior year was incredible. It allowed me to gain relevant experience to the field I'm interested in working in. Um, and having this full time semester long internship on your resume is really impressive. And it was really helpful for me when I was applying to the graduate programs that I applied to. Um, I even actually stayed at Express Yourself into my second semester of my senior year, not because I had to or it was required, but just because I loved it there so much. Um, Endicott interns make super meaningful contributions to the organizations that they work for and are really valued assets to their employers. Um, I felt really prepared when I was going into my semester long internship because of the internship classes that you'll be taking every year prior to your senior year. There's some great resources that Endicott offers to assist you in finding your internships, um, not just in the Beverly area, but you could do it in your hometown, in your home state, and virtually all over the country and all over the world. Um, so I'm gonna pass it on to my classmate and fellow intern, Emily. Hi everybody, um, I'm Emily De La Rocha. I also interned at Express Yourself with Danny. Um, I, and I also just committed to Albertus Magnus, which is a graduate school. So I am pursuing my, uh, my ongoing art therapy education. Um, something that for me that stood out um, about Endicott's art therapy program is the fact that you're taking art therapy classes and you're taking your psychology classes, but you also get to develop yourself as an artist. Um, Endicott is where I first started oil painting. I've got two of those behind me right now. Uh, you're pushed to try so many different things and, and allow for yourself to grow while you're still learning to become a therapist, which I think is so important. Um, the facilities at Endicott, which you'll see in the virtual tour, are absolutely amazing. Um, you have a ton of opportunities to uh, show your work, and it's a very collaborative environment. You're always conversing with your peers. It's very supportive, um, and you really make it your home there. Um, I also got the opportunity to study abroad in Florence, which was an experience that I think that if you can do it, you should. You can't pass it up. Um, you get to see works of art that you've been learning about for years. You get to see where all these things have come from, and it's really a life-changing experience. Um, so yeah, if you have any other questions for me or Danny, you can contact us through Carol Pelletier, and I will pass it back to her to talk a little bit about studio art. So yes, studio art has three concentrations, 2D, which is painting, drawing, printmaking, 3D, which is ceramic sculpture in site-specific installation, and intermedia, where students get to do a blend of a variety of traditional courses, digitally based courses, illustration, character development, uh, and photography. Um, many of our students from the Studio Art Program also take the Arts Administration minor. Some of them work in uh, art museums afterward. Uh, we had one student last year who did her full semester internship in London at White Chapel Gallery. She's preparing to go to graduate school for painting at Ohio University. She got a full ride there. Um, many of our students go on for their MFA um, and become instructors and professors themselves. Um, we also have a wonderful studio art student here to speak to us, Emma Farrington. Hi, I'm Emma Farrington. I am a junior studio art major. And the second that I got that tour of Endicott with Dean Towner, I knew that this was the school I wanted to go to because the facilities are so amazing. And I chose to do the Intermedia concentration because Endicott has so many artistic classes to take that I didn't want to choose between doing just painting or drawing and not being able to do ceramics. I wanted to do all of it. So that's what the Intermedia concentration allows you to do. 
Um, like I said, all of the professors are great. I've made meaningful connections with every single professor that I've had and lots of professors that I don't have that aren't even in my major. Um, and I just wanted to say to everybody, just emphasize the culture of the students in the VPAC is so amazing. Like everyone in my major and I are so close and that's the best part about going to Endicott. Um, I'm also a year round student athlete. I run cross country and track and it might seem intimidating to be a student athlete in college at first, especially pursuing an artistic major because of how much time and effort goes into creating art. But I found that it honestly helps me with time management and I have a couple other peers who are also student athletes and we haven't had a problem with it because our coaches and our professors are super understanding about missing classes for meets and games or not being able to do athletic things because of academic opportunities. So everyone is just super supportive all around and if you're on the fence about being a student athlete, I would recommend doing it. If you have any questions for me in particular about being a student athlete or about the studio art program, you can contact Carol Pelletier and she'll give you my information. I'm gonna pass it on now to our chair of visual communications, Danielle Courier. Hi and welcome. Uh, I'm Danielle Courier. I'm a professor of graphic design and the chair of visual communications. Uh, I've been at Endicott for 18 years uh, and I can't imagine being anywhere else. A little bit about graphic design, it's an exciting, vibrant field. We address all aspects of it in our program, brand, advertising, print and editorial design, app and website design, infographics, package design, motion graphics, animation, and more. Um, our students are highly competitive. They're completing internships at um, amazing agencies and companies. Every year, we have students that are offered full-time employment even before they graduate. Uh, some big names for internship and places that grads are employed, IBM, Puma, Hasbro, Tank Design, that's an international award-winning design agency in Cambridge, uh, Universal Music Group in New York City. I also wanna mention that we have many grads who are entrepreneurs and, and own their own really successful agencies. I'm happy to introduce at this time graphic design student, Sarah Mirazola. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a junior graphic design major and studio art minor. And from my personal experience, Endicott has made it super easy for me to obtain my studio art minor while still taking classes and learning about graphic design. Um, one way that I incorporate my studio art into my graphic design work is through illustrations. And to give an example of that, I am working on a product design in my junior studio class, and we are taking products from grocery stores. So I'm doing a bamboo toothbrush and I'm using my illustrations to create like characters for my product design. And it's just a really fun project. And we have a bunch of fun product projects like um, poster design and web design. So there's just a bunch of things you could cover in graphic design. Um, and also our facilities are amazing for graphic design. We have amazing studios like the Mac Labs and everything. And you could take out like Wacom pads to draw digitally. And um, yeah, uh, we're gonna hear a little bit more from Professor Courier about the visual communication. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, so I also wanna talk about photography, which is also an exciting field. We have the, the BS in photography, which provides students with a base of business and photographic skills that prepare them for professional practice in studio, portrait, commercial photography upon graduation. Students learn industry standard image practices in still, multimedia, and video, complemented by marketing, public relations, and entrepreneurship courses. The BFA in photography is an immersive program in photographic methods for the development of unique ideas and imagery in support of an artistic practice, documentary studies, and commercial applications. Students develop core competencies in digital still and video imaging that are drawn from the most current practices in the field. Students have the, on, the option to pursue three optional tracks for areas of specific focus. Those are fine arts photography, photojournalism, documentary studies, and commercial photography. Our graduates have gone on to be staff photographers for Vineyard Vines, Dooney and Bork, uh, the Salem News, the Harvard Athletic Department, and also uh, working as commercial photographers, owning their own businesses, uh, as well as video producers, whether uh, they are working for themselves or with major photographers and studios. Students have also worked on two films uh, with our esteemed uh, photo professor, Steve Liss, 
uh, Sacred Cod, which has been picked up by the Discovery Channel, and also Recovery High, which will be seen on MTV. Pretty exciting for them. Uh, I'm really happy to introduce photography student Tom Tremfiglia. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Uh, I'm Tom Tranfaglia, and I'm currently in my third year as a photography student at Endicott. Uh, my life on campus isn't exactly the most conventional. I wake up very early and I stay up very late working on my latest projects. Uh, prior to Endicott, I hadn't taken a single art class, and Endicott has now challenged me to explore all new art forms, whether it be ceramics, painting, or multimedia with Steve Liss. Um, but the Endicott program has now sculpted me into the artist that I am today. Uh, during my time at Endicott, uh, <clears throat> I've been pushing all boundaries of like the professional camera art form, whether it be within the techniques or just the possibilities that you can create with a camera. Uh, for example, in my studio lighting class, um, we're assigned to do this paper bag project, which might seem kind of boring to photograph paper bags, but the, pro or the point of this project is to push uh, the photographer's creativity to take something very simple and what may seem very boring and turn it into something that can be actually very beautiful. And by the end of this project, it's actually amazing to see what students end up coming up with. Um, now, uh, in my third year, I find myself uh, making YouTube videos. Uh, I've posted over 20 in the last three months, as well as doing my schoolwork on the side. <laughs> well vice versa, but um, the videos revolve around paint and clay and all the different mediums of art that I do, as well as other interests like action sports, like skiing and freestyle, <clears throat> uh, freestyle stuff. Um, and within that, I also run an Instagram account and a website, and the program has taught me to create my brand within all of those three platforms so that uh, you know, everything lines up well and you become, you know, a personal business. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> and by the end of the, <laughs> wait, sorry. Um, uh, so in my portfolio class, we're currently working on all of our, uh, all right, I'm sorry. I'm just going to end this up. <laughs> Basically, by the end of the program, the program will teach you how to tell a story with your art, whether it's with photography or clay or anything else. Anything else. The biggest thing is that Endicott teaches you how to take your art and turn it into something meaningful, which to me is the most important thing because what is it that you have to say to the world and what is it that your art is going to say to the world? So I'll finish it with what do you have to say to the world? What is your story? Um, and now I'd like to pass it on to the performing arts. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. That's exactly what I would say and how wonderful to think about passing on our story. Uh, performing arts is all about telling a story as well. We have a vibrant large performing arts program at Endicott College and it's housed right in the same school as the visual arts, which provides for a lot of interdisciplinary uh, projects and exciting collaborations. We have minors in music, theater, dance, and of course arts administration. And there is a way to major in the performing arts using our liberal studies individually designed major. But the big important thing to take away is that whether you major or minor, it doesn't matter. You don't have to do those things to be involved. And we have many students in our visual arts programs who are getting involved either with their visual art or on stage in our performing arts programs. We have dancers, actors, singers, and then also people who do scenic painting, set design, graphic design, 3D modeling and props, costume design. Um, having this uh, performing arts department housed right in the same building as the visual arts really allows us to work together and create projects that are visually exciting and theatrically exciting and we really complement one another. Um, there's a home for you in this program as part of the performing arts department, visual arts department. Um, as many of the students have said, we are really collaborative and friendly and warm place to be. It's like one big family in that center. So um, I can't wait for you to see it on our virtual tour. So I'm gonna suggest that we transition now to that video tour of the center where you'll get to see some of these spaces and uh, what they look like empty and also with all kinds of art and music and dance and theater coming to life. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Shannon Ballou. I'm a junior graphic design major, and I chose Endicott because the VPAC is the most beautiful building on campus, and it's always full of student artwork that never ceases to inspire me. Gotta protect this feeling. Gotta make sure our spirits last. Didn't build a cathedral to see the walls crumble down because the base was made of glass. This sound is something special when it plays and makes us who we are. And for a moment, we got heaven in a jar. And let it all run through me. Love and pain, despair and happiness. Piano prayer and I'm relieved. I'm knee deep in the ocean of my psyche And I feel God inside the key Consider this a prayer It is a mind, it's theirs All I do is provide the music now can't part the scenes or give a reason to follow me, but I can sing my story loud and the earth swells beneath my feet. The empty stage calls out to me, it says, come home. And the man upstairs, he lets me know that he gave me life so I could go be go by really fast so make sure you get involved and you have a wonderful time because these four years were the best four years of my life and I hope that they'll be the best four years of yours as well. Well uh, okay Welcome back to a live session. Um, this will be the, uh, the, the finishing of our program um, with questions and answers that uh, you can post uh, on the chat room and then uh, our faculty and myself and our students will make an effort to respond. So um, at this point, are there any new questions? Well, if there are no further questions, then uh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to ask, uh, hope that you do contact uh, your department chair of uh, whom you might be interested in studying. And he or she can connect you up with students. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, my email address was on there as well. And that's really what Endicott is known for. It's a very student-centered institution. Uh, unlike other institutions, there's a chair uh, for every program. Um, there's a dean in every school, and that dean is in the classrooms. It's uh, he or she is is in the building with you. It's a it's a real open door, student centered institution. So with that, I'm going to conclude our program. <laughs>